Hi, I'm Dustin Hansen with Graywell Entertainment. And I'm Zane Pendleton with Graywell and the Out of Our System podcast. Welcome to the first of many to come Graywell Entertainment updates. Uh, anything dealing with music, movies, video games, and anything else that we carry that might be awesome or entertainment related. So let's get started. We'll hop into this. Um, first thing for me I want to talk about is the Besnard Lakes. Besnard Lakes are a band out of uh, Canada. Awesome sound. They're on Jag Jaguar, the record label. Um, as you can see, we have it on CD and vinyl at all of our locations. Um, very big sound, very epic, like um, almost psych indie rock. Very, very cool band. Next thing is a world famous, popular mega band out of uh, Austin, Texas, the Black Angels. Um, South by Southwest heroes for the last seven years. Um, psych rock to the core. Just about everybody I know loves the Black Angels. Um, the new album is called Indigo Meadow. The CD comes with a special 20-page page booklet featuring the first single, Don't Play With Guns. The vinyl actually comes with a download card for the album, and it also has the same 20-page uh, booklet, but in a full 12 by 12 size. And uh, this is actually a double, or this is a gatefold LP as well. Two LP. It's actually Single two LP. LP. But yeah. Awesome. Uh, next thing. Another personal favorite of my own, saw these guys, or saw him with a band play at the stateroom. It's Charles Bradley on Daptone Records. He is a soul master, as um, we <laughs> so distinctly put out today. He shit soul. He looks like he has to poop, but it's because he's so full of soul. <laughs> <laughs> His backing band is the Menahan Street Band, for, using, for you guys in the know. Um, epic R&B soul stuff. It's great. Um, his last album was fantastic, and if you ever get a chance to see him live, he is the male equivalent of Sharon Jones, who actually is on Daptone as well. For all you fans of the, what, goth punk rock stuff, everybody knows Alkaline Trio. Um, their new album is out on Tuesday. It is called My Shame is True. CD and DVD version. Very cool motorcycle on the cover, Zane was noting today. I looked at it a few times. <laughs> Um, I don't really, there's not much to say about Alkaline Trio. If you like them, you know them, and you'll be here to pick this up. It's on Epitaph, Heart and Skull, which is a, you know, sub subsidiary of Epitaph. Good label, good stuff. Also in the punk vein, I don't think we have vinyl on this one, but... We uh, did get vinyl on this one. Oh, we did, okay, yep. so we do have the vinyl on this. I don't know where it is. We should have pulled that, sorry. Uh, Jello Biafra has a new album out. The king of... I don't even know what you want to call him. He's just a punk rock maniac. Um, He's politically dissident. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> former, you know, former leader of the Dead Kennedys. The new album is called. It's Jello Biafra. His band is the and the Guantanamo School of Medicine. The album is called White People and the Damage Done. He did one other album with the same uh, lineup called The Audacity of Hope. Uh, besides being in the Dead Kennedys, he's also done stuff with the Melvins. He's done spoken word stuff solo. He's all over the place. He's a punk rock icon, yeah, and uh, this so. this label this is on Alternative Tentacles, which is a great label. Yeah. Mud Honey, back with a new full length album. It's their first full length in many years. On Sub Pop. Back where they originally started was on Sub Pop. They did come out in the '90s grunge era. They are less grungy and more fuzzed out rock, I would say. Um, same era as like Nirvana and all the other grunge yeah, bands. All the early Sub Pop stuff. This was one of the first Sub Pop records, you know. Back when I had the old mailing list I could get stuff from, I was the first one of the first CDs I ever bought from Sub Pop Direct. Very cool. The album's called Vanishing Point. I was listening to it today. Um, great. If you like Mud Honey, you're going to be very happy. Jenny Lewis fans, be thrilled. Uh, Rilo Kylie is not officially dead. They are dead as a band, but they are releasing an album called Archives, spelled R K I V E S. It's unreleased B sides and rarities from Rilo Kylie, including nine never before released tracks. Going back to the grunge feel, the supergroup of supergroups back in the 90s, uh, Mad Season is releasing a special edition of their album Above. That grunge sounds are really coming back in a big way. If you've been to Urban Outfitters in the last couple of weeks, you have noticed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at the back of this, the bonus features are ridiculous. There's a music video and about another half of a live show and a bunch of interviews and radio interviews and TV appearances. So it's the ultimate version of anything dealing with Mad Season since they were kind of a flash in the pan and ten unreleased a quick project tracks including a brand new called Locomotive and I actually listened to a Locomotive song and it was awesome because Lanigan sings on it and if you know Mark Lanigan you'll love it. 
And just as a side note, on April 20th on Record Store Day this year, the special edition vinyl version of this is coming out as a limited release on Record Store Day. Electronic fans. And Ninja Tune fans. Bonobo, back with a new album. It is called The North Borders. Anybody's a fan of really, I don't know how you would call it. It's not low key, but it's not, it's not bass driven electronic. It's, it's more. It's kind of avant garde electronic music. It's a little more on the chill side. And uh, it's just very, very interesting. And uh, I would recommend it to anybody who's a fan of electronic music in general. Odd Future fans, rejoice. Tyler the Creator's new album is out. Um, there is a special edition version of this as well, which we have not received just yet, but we'll have it next week. But it comes with two, multiple color or multiple covers. Um, the album is called Wolf. 18 new tracks. You've seen him on TV on Adult Swim. Uh, there's not much to say. Tegan and Sarah hate this record. <laughs> it's probably safe to say that before it's even out that Tegan and Sarah hate that album. So <laughs> there you go. A special release this week. Uh, it's in the vein of the tribute albums that have been coming out recently. There's been a, ha a slew of really good ones. The big one being the uh, tribute to Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, had a lot of Fleetwood Mac. Had a great artist on it, Anthony Johnson's a bunch of other different really cool artists. Um, this is a tribute to John Denver. It's done through ATO Records featuring My Morning Jacket, Dave Matthews, Jay Maskus, and Sharon Von Etten together on a song. It's an awesome collection of people doing tracks by John Denver. <laughs> Leading on a Jet Plane done by My Morning Jacket. So, there you go. As a special indie only deal for shopping at an indie record store, they are giving out a free tote bag, and it'll look really cool when you go to Whole Foods. Yeah. <laughs> Here is a handful of metal releases. I'm going to let Zane go crazy on this one for Let's a talk second. to you about some metal stuff. So Not a big week for metal. Um, we should have started this last week because there were some great releases. There's always good metal stuff always coming out, and uh, if you ever want to know, just there's about a, there's a metal guy at just about every Great Well location that you <laughs> we, talk to. We've you, become so. a very specialized place for people that yeah, are into metal. So. So. so this week coming out in the world of metal, we've got Hypocrisy and a Disclosure. It's a new album from the uh, Swedish death metal band, Peter Taktegren's band. Peter Taktegren, uh, he produces a lot of other metal stuff too. He's very, very active in the world of European death metal and folk metal and so on. So uh, that's just another album by Hypocrisy if you're a fan of that. Um, also from Europe, new Fintroll album called Blood Svept. <laughs> Fintroll. Fintroll. It's troll themed Finnish folk metal. So uh, come get it if that's what you're into. Um, yeah, Fintroll's shitty, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, new Kill Switch Engage album. It's been a while since they had a new album, right? So yeah, this is the first one in like five years. Yeah, they do so have, it's called Disarm the Descent, and there is a special edition that does come with a DVD that we also have coming yeah, out. So we've Tuesday. got both versions of that one. So if you're a Kill Switch Engage fan, pick that up. Huzzah. And then also, band called Moss. As far as I know, we've never carried anything by them before. They're on Rise Above Records. I haven't, we did some research, haven't seen anything else from them. This is, might be their but, first uh, thing. Rise Above is actually an awesome uh, psych and doom uh, stoner metal label. So uh, you already know what you're getting into with this. It's very heavy and very loud and very groovy. So check that out as well, if that's what you're into with amazing nude Firewoman artwork. So, also, uh, some releases that came out on vinyl this week that have been previously released, but we've gotten vinyl versions of them now. The Next Day by David Bowie. It is his newest studio album, first album in like 10 years. Uh, it came out on CD two weeks ago, sold very well, getting really good reviews. It, it's solid if you're a Bowie fan. And uh, this vinyl package is actually an awesome uh, 180 gram gatefold vinyl package that comes with the complete CD of the album as well. So if you missed the CD release of this that when it came out originally at Greywell, um, you can actually come in and pick up the vinyl and get this beautiful vinyl package and get the CD. It's very heavy. So then and another thing that was uh, released this week is the reissue of Beach House's debut album. Beach House, if you saw them in the Twilight concert series this last summer, they did an amazing show. They had a new album that came out called Bloom. Um, they also have the album Teen Dream. Uh, this first album is uh, being reissued on vinyl, and uh, we'll have this at all of our locations as well. And uh, as far as video releases for this week... Very small release week. If you're into it, The Bible, the epic miniseries on Blu-ray. And uh, DVD. From History Channel on Blu-ray and DVD. So It does feature the black devil that looks... <laughs> 
eerily reminiscent to uh, Barack Obama. You've probably seen the controversy seen on, on the television. Um, we've looked it up to see because we know we figured there's no way it really looks like that. It, it totally looks like <laughs> him. It's freakish and it's funny. So um, if you're a Bible fan, check out the miniseries. Everyone's I bet you didn't really know that everybody in the Middle East was a model 2,500 years ago. But so. they're dirty, so <laughs> they're, everyone's dirty. Started carrying Soul Republic headphones recently. Um, they have a new version coming out called the Master Track. The Master Track is different from the others because it is an over-the-ear um, headphone. You can see how the big over-the-ear size. Um, we demoed these out. The rep actually came in, our, our rep Jason, who's a super cool dude, and I hope he sees this video and hears me shout it out because I want a free pair of these. <laughs> But the Master Track is a, it's one of the best headphones I've ever put on my head. Soul Republic has a feature where you can't break the band, you can bend it all you want. It's a... You're never going to snap a pair of Soul Republic headphones like you would another cheaper brand no. of over-ear headphones. They're fully customizable, so you can buy other bands in different colors to customize with your, your earpieces. Can you hand me that other earpiece, please? The, um, the sound quality on these is incredible. Um, very... I mean, I've listened to Beats, I've listened to Bose and all these others. These are not, you know, they're priced at $199, which is quite good. The quality is incredible. They're very, very cool. Even on their lower end he headphones, uh, they're, they're cheaper sound drivers. They still sound like better than most of what's out there. And uh, these headphones in particular are amazing at canceling out the sound that's coming out of your headphones. There's almost zero bleed. So you can listen to whatever you want, as loud as you want, and you're not going to bother a guy that's five inches away from your head. We had these on and had the music turned up full blast, and you couldn't hear what people were saying to you, and you couldn't, they couldn't hear the music, which is really cool. A couple of the other features they added to it is they added a, a heavier padded, um, almost leathery um, top piece here. And the other ones before just have a kind of a glued in pad underneath, but this one's a little bit more upgraded. And the ear pads are like a memory foam, really soft, very, very comfortable. I'll put them on for you. Um, so I hope I look cool because that's the whole point about Soul Republic. It's fashion. They're super cool and, and, and interchangeable and the quality of them is excellent. I recommend this headphone over any other headphone I've ever carried and um, this is now my pair because I'm wearing them. So thank you, <laughs> Soul Republic. Um, there's always way more coming out than we ha have a chance to talk to anybody about. So you should check the Graywell Facebook page because there's a constant stream of updates on everything that's coming out. And uh, you can check out any of our six locations because uh, you can talk to anybody at any location. They can give you the full download on yeah. everything that's coming out. We have this spreadsheet so. in every store that's our pre-orders for the next two months. So if you're ever questioning what's coming out or when, make sure you ask one of the employees that can we go over your new release spreadsheet. I want to know what's coming out. Also, uh, as a part of following us on the Facebook page at Graywell SLC, uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter as well at Graywell SLC. And while you're at it, check out the Out of Our System podcast at outofoursystem.com. We also have a YouTube, Twitter, uh, and you know all the other social network channels. Um, the podcast talks about everything that we talked about here, all the pop culture, all the movies, comic books, games, music, everything that we find interesting on a weekly basis. Um, the big drive with one of the, the idea of doing this video and doing some of these other things that we're doing is to re let everyone know that A, record stores are still living and healthy and that shopping local is the way to do it. I know you can get it on Amazon for a couple bucks cheaper, but come here, spend a dollar more, have an experience. Hopefully the customer service is solid. Give me the feedback you need me to know so I can keep our stores viable and cool for you to come in and shop. And uh, yeah, don't be a dick, shop local. <laughs> Trademarked. <laughs> don't be a dick, shop local.